As of early January this year, a US dollar was officially trading for about 100 Argentine pesos. But on the streets of Buenos Aires, a US dollar was valued closer to 200 Argentine pesos. This black market exchange rate is known as the dollar blue. And what this means for anyone in Argentina with dollars is that you can get anything in the country for half off. 1250 official, 625 blue. Top shelf Malbec. And this was 250, so about a dollar 25. Tortilla Española, six dollars and eighty cents official, or three dollars and forty cents dollar blue. Manhattan on the rocks for 530. I'm Mike the Asian, and I love Argentina. There's so much to adore, from the architecture to the food, wine, tango, Patagonia. But what I love the most there is the people. They're known for confidence, creativity, and they love closeness. But unfortunately, for the past hundred years, they have been haunted by economic decline. In late 2001, Argentina was facing plummeting exports and an economic recession. Locals rushed to the banks to exchange their pesos for dollars. The Argentine government responded by freezing all bank transactions. This is known as the Corralito. Riots erupted and people lost their lives. And since then, confidence in the peso has never truly recovered in the minds of Argentines. So today, the US dollar is the hot commodity. Right now, Argentines can only legally transfer up to 200 US dollars worth of pesos per month. People try to get around these limits, a black market exchange for US dollars pops up, and that's the dollar blue. In this graph, we see in around 2015, the dollar blue rate and the official rate becoming one. President Macri released all currency exchange limits. So the dollar blue became unnecessary. But then in 2018, the peso inflated by more than double. In 2019, the exchange limits came back and the dollar blue came back and it is quickly diverging from the official exchange rate. To Argentines, inflation is a reality of life. There's perhaps no better demonstration of this than a woman who kept her movie tickets over the past 20 years. In the early 2000s, when she went to see Harry Potter, a movie ticket cost about five pesos. When she saw Encanto more recently, her movie ticket cost 400 pesos. And in restaurants, you'll see that menus have their prices written by hand in marker. En Estados Unidos, eh, en el año pasado, inflació 8%. Claro, y era como una locura para ustedes. Vimos en las noticias que era su primera inflación y era como... ¡Ah! Y nosotros... ¡Ah! Chicos, 8%. Tres consejos para nosotros los estadounidenses, como... Guarden como... dólares, ah, no les sirvo. Ah, Esa fe no, no. les sirve. When you walk down Calle Florida in downtown Buenos Aires, you'll see these guys that are known as arbolitos, or little trees. And they'll yell out, <laughs> They're advertising that they exchange dollars. If you follow them, they'll take you to a cueva, or a cave, and you ask for the dollar blue rate. They'll punch in the rate into their calculator and show you through the window. No receipt, no paper trail, but it's the dollar blue rate. This exists in this gray area where you know that it's not official and yet nobody cracks down on this. The police aren't raiding these cuevas. They're right in the middle of downtown. What I found out is that Western Union seems to be offering higher than the blue rate, 
and you have the security of going to a multinational large corporation. I went down to Western Union to test out this method with my friend Dustin. He's an American that's been living on and off in Argentina since 2006. We do a little bank transfer, transfer money from our bank in the United States to Western Union here. And in theory, they're gonna give us the dollar blue rate, which if that's the case, uh, it's gonna be super safe, super legit. Because usually getting the dollar blue rate is, is hard. It's like, it's not something you can officially do. First year I came to Argentina was in 2006. What was and the exchange rate? In 2006, rate? the exchange rate was three to one. So for every dollar, you got three Argentine pesos. And over the years, I came and I would travel here and I'd visit, and it was like sometimes the dollar blue was in effect and sometimes it wasn't. I got to see kind of both. It's inside the Carrefour? Seems like it. Let's check. Let's go in and try. There's, a, line, There's a big old line. It's gonna take forever. The exchange rate is 210 to one. That's crazy because officially the banks say that it's a hundred to one. So Western Union's like, hey, we're gonna give you the dollar blue rate. I think Western Union is still walking away with like making money out of this, but like, wow. The process seems to have failed. We ran into technical difficulties with the Western Union website. An error popped up every time we finalized the transfer but there was an option to pay in cash, so we decided to try it when we got to the window. The rep said that this branch didn't do cash exchange, only pick up for online orders. So we stepped aside, went back on the website, and this time I used a debit card, which worked, but the branch closed before the transfer was verified. The next day, uh, I guess I didn't change my shirt, but uh, Dustin and I went to a different Western Union. Los sábados, es I showed her my passport and the confirmation number from the email, and she gave me over 140,000 pesos, the equivalent of $700. We just went into Western Union and they gave us the blue rate. It's a hack. We hacked the system. She was saying, like, early in the morning on a Saturday to pick up a bunch of cash is really hard. Yeah. Yeah. She was able to like just eke it out apparently for us, but you know, so maybe just go in the middle of the day on, um, or like a little later in the day on a weekday because there's gonna be more cash flowing through the Western Union. Um, definitely just do the transfer online before, like before you go and get the confirmation before you go. But other than that, it works. It actually works. <laughs> So there's this hack on the Argentine economy that Americans can use to get half off prices when they're down there. You might ask yourself, is this even ethical? Well, from everything that I understood, it's that Argentines and the Argentine government want your dollars. They're trying to entice your dollars into the country. The Argentine government announced this digital nomad visa where they want foreign workers to come to Argentina for a year on this visa and work for a foreign company. That way, they bring that money into the country and spend it locally. They've also announced a special savings account for tourists where you can have this debit card, you exchange your money at the higher rate, uh, and you can just swipe your card instead of having to carry around all this cash. I wanted to explore this option, but it doesn't seem like it's in practice yet. But the conclusion here is that they are trying to bring dollars into the country. So, if you go down to Argentina and you're willing to follow a little tree into a cave, or if you can find a Western Union branch that has enough cash on hand to exchange for you, everything in Argentina is on a 50% discount. So, if you do visit, remember to be generous, tip your bartenders and your waiters and your cab drivers well, and I hope that you'll fall in love with Argentina like I did too.